Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you guys very much for joining me today for this tarot read. Uh, I got it. It's funny. People still have questions uh, about the animal totems even now. Uh, so somebody was saying to uh, bees. Bees, they're always drawn to bees. Always lots of bees around having a bee fly into their car. A uh, bee is a very awesome animal totem to have. They're just awesome little creatures in general. In this deck, uh, bees represent community. So it says you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. The thing about bees, they do absolutely build abundance, right? They produce honey, but it doesn't just magically come to them. They're very hard workers and they're community oriented. So they work well with other with others. This like that um, cooperation, huge with cooperation. So this might be something you might be more of a social butterfly or more of an extrovert or just be able to work well as a team. So uh, like I said, B. B is an awesome totem to have, guys. Uh, I do have this deck. I also have the crystal deck too. So if you guys are finding very special stones and you like to know sort of the meaning behind them, I can pull that card uh, from my crystal deck. And we can check it out for you too and sort of see what that says. So feel free to leave comments and I'll always try and get to it in my next videos. So we're going to set the B aside. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get going today. Uh, I got this deck here and this is the one we're going to start with. We'll see what comes forward for the collective today. What does the collective need to hear? What's the message that needs to come forward for everyone? We have transformation, rejoice and celebration. This is a great way to start the read. And I don't believe it's any accident that we have threes at the top of each of these cards. And threes are about creativity and individuality. So you might have, you might have a project, a creative project that you've been working on that's maybe taking off or is about to transform and bring some success. It's something worth celebrating. This may also be a transformation within yourself and sort of coming home to yourself finding your individuality, finding your voice, speaking up for yourself. And that is absolutely worth celebrating as well. Keep grabbing cards here, spirit, please. Keep giving us some more cards and some more clarification about what this read is going on. What's going on here? What's this about disruption? Mm. Disrupting cycles. Uh, I keep feeling thoughts behind, behind this card, like disrupting thoughts. Mm, I do feel a connection to other energies though too. So I do feel like it's like how thoughts impact dynamics with other people. Uh, the number six is about community too and uh, sort of other people around you. I This is part of your change and part of your transformation. It's like that way of thinking. Changing that way of thinking that changes your behavior. It changes your choices. It changes the way that you are with other people. It changes those dynamics. Destiny. I'll tell you the distinct message I got from my guides with this card is that this is part of your path. These are lessons that you were supposed to learn. This is something that's going to help you to ascend. It's something that's going to help to bring more inner peace and happiness into your life and balance too. I keep feeling balance in that card. The sacral chakra. This is also about your individuality and your creativity. It also speaks to desires and emotions, the sacral chakra. The two represents balance. Now, I'll tell you though, I keep feeling like all these changes, this transformation, this disruption of cycles, these, these lessons learned and this progress that you're making. It's like everything you were supposed to be doing that will improve the quality of your life. I don't know that your journey is entirely over because I don't think we ever like learn everything we're supposed to learn and then, okay, I'm done now. I think it's always a forever journey and we'll always have moments where maybe we backslide or we feel a bit of doubt and we sort of go back into that. So it's important to recognize how far we've come and the lessons that we've learned and to keep encouraging ourselves to move forward to the waiting game. This is interesting. In this card, I feel like I've been waiting for something. Waiting for something. I don't know if this is something to manifest or hard work to pay off. Like I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something. Stand your ground. This is telling you to keep moving forward with whatever this transformation is that you've been doing. Whatever progress you've been making, you are getting told to keep moving forward. And power. Mm. 
I get a different vibe off of this card. A lot of times I feel like empowerment, empowerment. I don't feel that energy behind this card. Um, the number eight numerology can represent sort of authority and empowerment as well. And I keep feeling like that number eight is supposed to tie into this card's meaning in this read. But like I said, I don't feel like the power behind it. I don't know if this is what somebody's trying to achieve. They're trying to achieve a feeling of empowerment. It ties into stand your ground. It ties into the waiting game. It ties into what somebody's been waiting for or trying to progress towards or what they feel like they're not quite getting to. I got to pull more cards for that one because I want to know where that sits. So Spirit King, please give me more to help clarify what's going on here. Prosperity begins. And fulfillment of wishes. I got lots of beautiful cards here that are encouraging someone to move forward. Like if somebody's having doubts here about their path, about what's going on, because maybe it's, it's a long path or it's a very long journey and it's taking a while to progress or to reach different points or we're waiting for other things to come forward. I keep feeling this, keep going with where you're going. Keep speaking your mind, keep speaking up for yourself, keep doing for you and not taking crap from other people. Whatever this disruption was that you chose to do in disrupting cycles and disrupting a way of thinking, it's very important to keep going with it. Because it is the thing that is tied to prosperity. It is tied to fulfillment of wishes. I don't necessarily mean like you're just going to like win a million bucks or whatever. But I do feel an inner peace that comes from this in standing your ground and standing up for yourself and standing up for what you feel like matters. It will get you more inner peace. It will get you happiness. It's important to do this. This transformation is not to be given up on. Ooh, it's that one, that one I want to know. And these ones wanted to pop out too. Harmony. Harmony. See, this is what I was feeling in disruption too. It had to do with other people. It had to do with dynamics. But it started with someone's way of thinking. It's like defining what harmony is for you in a relationship with other people. I'm not just talking like romance. This might be uh, at work, with friends, with family, in all of your relationships. What is harmony? What do I need from other individuals to be able to feel like I have that balance or I'm getting what I need as well and I'm not getting burnt out? And I keep feeling like this was part of it. I keep feeling like this was a huge part of choices that were made. Power is on your ground. Hmm. And I, see, there's authority. And that's what I felt coming from eight. Uh, this power card, the number eight, it's, it keeps tying in. It ties into all of this. I don't know if somebody's like in charge of something. If somebody's a boss or if this is talking about so being in charge or feeling responsible for others or feeling responsible for for the direction that a dynamic goes. So if, if somebody's standing their ground and the other party sort of doesn't want to have it or they're having a bit of a hiss and then it winds up being a problem or a relationship kind of goes south, it's like, well, I'm feeling responsible because I'm the one who did the disruption. I'm the one who spoke up for myself. I'm the one who did this transformation. Maybe it wasn't the right thing to do because now these people have stepped away from me or whatever. Because I keep feeling like somebody's taking responsibility for everything or taking responsibility. You can't control what other people do or other people think or other people feel. You only control yourself. That's the only, that's the only control that we have in life. Authority, authority. And even in this authority, I keep feeling to stand your ground too. Like, stay the course. Whatever you're doing, you need to stay the course and you need to stand your ground. That's a really interesting read. Discontent and boredom. And memories of love. So somebody's definitely having trouble with uh, staying the course in this transition. I just keep feeling that, like they might have hit some negative snags in whatever this is or other people have reacted badly. Um... Or it's caused some sort of negative thing. But it's still a very important transformation that somebody's making for themselves. I just keep feeling that from the cards. And I keep hearing from my guides like, don't give up. Don't give up. This will bring you peace in the end. This will help you to find the harmony that you're looking for. Because you're not allowing disharmony into your life. You're not accepting disharmony anymore. 
because if you accept that disharmony like you did in the past, you're going to get all those feelings that you had in the past too. This is an important transformation for finding all of that that inner strength and that inner balance and that inner peace for yourself. And you have to stay with it to be able to keep achieving that. And not everybody's going to like it. And you can't, like I said, you can't control other people triumph. I'll tell you what I see in the cards. And what they keep telling me over and over and over and over again is that this is the thing that's going to bring you what you want. It may not be an overnight change. There may be bumps and challenges along the way, sort of testing your resolve, testing the lesson learned. But it's very important to stick with it because everything I see says success in the end. Success in the end. Give me a few more, please, Spirit, before we get going with tarot. Okay. And that one. And then I'm going to tuck this guy over here accelerated motion so things changing quite quickly firm foundations uh-huh and choose wisely so right now by making this change whoever's made this change or this transformation within themselves they are setting the firm foundation for harmony and balance not only in their life but in their relationships with other people and the dynamics with other people. So like you said, this could be at work, this could be lovers, this could be friends, this could be family. It's just changing that dynamic so somebody doesn't get walked on and somebody no longer gets taken advantage of. So if somebody's gonna step forward into their life or whoever they're dealing with around them, it's going to be more balance in the relationship. You are being cautioned to choose wisely because I feel like somebody's thinking about stepping away from this path. I keep feeling in here, choose wisely, Think carefully about that. Look how far you've come. It's important to keep going with your journey. Be very careful about your choice here. Awareness. Mm. Awareness tends to be that third eye. I keep feeling in here too. I keep feeling like a deep knowing. A deep knowing this ties into somebody's intuition too, or messages that somebody's been receiving from spirit or from the universe. Um, they've had signs along the way. I don't know if somebody's been able to recognize the signs, if they've come through dreams, through visions, or things that they've seen in the waking world. But I feel like they're trying to be communicated with through spirit. Spirit is trying to communicate to them and trying to say, look, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. Hope. Yeah, have hope and stay optimistic. I get pulled back to the accelerated motion card. So somebody might be about to see some sort of a change here. So you don't want to give up before this change is allowed to happen or before you're able to start seeing the results. Because like I said, prosperity begins, fulfillment to wishes, triumph, rejoice and celebration. We have all these beautiful cards that are speaking to something very positive happening or some sort of a positive outcome. So it's important to stay the course to be able to achieve that positive outcome. Wisdom and recognition and reward. I'll tell you what I see too. I keep getting from these cards that they're speaking to another energy too. So this may be an energy that you've been dealing with part of, you know, where this disruption came from in your decision to make this change and start speaking your truth and looking after yourself and doing for you. There's absolutely wisdom in that. But I keep feeling like somebody else needs to see that or somebody else is going to see that. But it's taking time for somebody else uh, to mature and go down their own path and their own journey to be able to recognize properly what you've done and why you've done it. I, I keep feeling like that's almost where you want the recognition from. You want other people to recognize because I feel like this is causing friction. This, this change that you've done has caused some friction in your life. But it's still a stand you need to make. Like I said, you can't control other people. We're all on our own journey. And sometimes it takes others longer to find a path of ascension, to find a path of wisdom, to find a path of awareness than us. I keep feeling, don't give up. Don't give up. It's important. Don't give up. Keep with the path. 
keep finishing every word. Now I'm getting pulled straight to a tarot deck. So we're going to move into tarot and we're going to get some more details about what you've been dealing with and why Spirit's bringing this message forward, maybe where you're going. Spirit, can you please bring more clarification to this message for the collective today? Seven of Cups, that's exactly what this Choose Wisely card is. It even has a seven up top. It is the Seven of Cups. It is many choices. It is choosing wisely, but I'll tell you what I feel in this Seven of Cups as opposed to the Choose Wisely card, because I feel like this Choose Wisely card, this is yours. I feel like this Seven of Cups also applies to another energy. Or maybe it's multiple other energies that you're dealing with. You can't be responsible for other people's choices. Other people are responsible for the choices that they make. It's up to them to choose to recognize what you're doing and to respect your choices and to respect you. It's up to them whether they choose to do that or not. It's up to them whether they, they're going to choose instead to maybe stay selfish and not support your journey. But you have no control over that either. And that does not mean that you should give up on your journey because somebody's choosing to be selfish and not support you. It's still important to keep on what you're doing. Yeah, that Seven of Cups is someone else's. That's someone else's card. The King of Wands. Yeah, somebody's pissed off. Uh, this is part of the energy that you're dealing with in this King of Wands. I feel a lot of anger, uh, but a lot of entitlement too. Like this person feels like you should be catering to them. This has to do with this disruption that you chose. I don't know who this is to you. Uh, if this is, like I said, someone at work, like a co-worker, or a boss, or a friend, a family member, or a lover. Uh, but this is somebody who feels like they were happy in the pattern that was there before where you kind of kissed their butt and they got what they wanted. You know, because they'd make a big fuss or throw a big tantrum or manipulate you into giving giving them what they wanted. They don't like this new you who stands up for themselves. This is somebody who wants to go back to the old way. And I think they think if they make a big enough fuss, you'll give up on this journey and you'll cave. I'm not saying this person is a horrible, terrible person, but this person is on their own path. And they do have a lot of growing to do. So don't stifle your growing because somebody at this point in time is choosing not to do their own growing path too. Spirit, can you please bring us more in this read? That guy wanted to pop out. The Emperor. You know what? <laughs> it's interesting. I actually see your energy in the Emperor. And I do get pulled back to power. I do get pulled back to the Authority card because that Authority card is a lot like the Emperor. I keep getting told to stand up for yourself, stand up for yourself, hold your ground, be confident in your course, you're doing the right thing. Be confident in yourself, be confident in your power and this choice that you've made. Do not allow yourself to be manipulated by somebody who, who is just wanting to go back to the way things were. Somebody who deeply cares about you should respect your choice to stand up for yourself and to stand up for your rights. And somebody should want to treat you with that respect. Like I said, it's like setting the tone. You're setting that solid foundation. So anybody who's going to contribute to that solid foundation is going to be someone who you'll have harmony and balance with. It's going to be a good caring connection in your life. Anybody who does not want to contribute is somebody who you'd never build that with. Because it always takes both sides. It doesn't mean they won't ever come around, but I keep feeling like this person is very much in their own mind and very much on their own path. Judgment. I'm going to grab another card to go with judgment, please. Spirit, can you please clarify the judgment card for me? The High Priestess. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So this Judgment card, sometimes in my reads, represents karma. Sort of we get back what we put out there, right? So we're putting out positive energy. Uh, this energy where we, we only nurture connections that bring harmony and balance into our life. That's what we're going to receive. Where we're giving into, you know, somebody who's, who's being real whiny or somebody who's being real manipulative and driving a, a real dysfunctional dynamic. We're going to be unhappy because we're giving to someone who does not give back to us. Like it's, it's what we put out there we wind up getting back. So those who put a lot of negativity out there and who choose to sort of operate in this, mood, this mode in life and treat other people in that way will eventually wind up unhappy. 
because the only people who will stick around are people who are willing to have an unhealthy dynamic. There's no harmony there. Anybody else is going to ditch them and they're going to wind up alone. So I do see that the universe and karma is keeping an eye on the situation, sort of what's going on. Can you please give me more, please, spirit? And that one popped out right away. And then this one, and that one I got told to take. But this is the one I want to see first. Ah, ending. There is an ending coming. So I know that death card looks pretty darn dramatic, doesn't it? But it just represents something coming to an end and a new beginning allowed to start. And it's like bringing this dynamic to an end, not allowing this dynamic to rekindle, not allowing it to start only leads an avenue for a happy relationship together. If the other person is willing to contribute, right? That's the only option. Bring balance even give and take, or you're not welcome to come around. Mm, two of pentacles, ten of cups. Wow, we got a lot of cards here about a change coming, about a wheel of fortune, about a happiness coming. I find that really interesting, and I'd like to know sort of more about what that is that's coming, that wheel of fortune changing. The ten of cups is having balance and abundance in the home life. And we did have accelerated motion, too. Can you please? Ooh. Please tell me more, Spirit. What's going on here? The Four of Pentacles. And the Star card. I didn't tell you what I see in this Four of Pentacles. A lot of times he's called kind of the, the miser card, like this dude here. He won't let go of the money to pull himself out of the pit because uh, he's so greedy. But I don't feel that. I don't feel that in this card. There's something else I feel. It's more like a desperation. And I feel like an asking for help. This person might be receiving a situation from the universe as a wake-up call to see who their true connections are. You know, there might be something going on around this person or something that comes down around them where all these negative people who they've been choosing over top of a positive connection all flee and leave them. They realize that they were never people that could be counted on. And the one person that they always could count on is somebody they very much took for granted. And somebody who's now laid down the law and says, if you're coming my way, you have to come uh, with an open heart and you have to come with respect for my boundaries. Because I see somebody wanting to come back. I keep seeing like a desperation, like a please, 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 whoever this is wanting to come back for help. I gotta tell you, I do find clarity in this star card. I don't know if you warn them about this happening, about them maybe hanging out with the wrong people or giving to the wrong people or, or this behavior of theirs was eventually going to bite them in the ass in some way. Because I keep feeling like I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I tried to warn you. Like it, it, was, it was easy to see, but this person couldn't see it. Because I, I don't feel any surprise in her clarity. I feel like she always knew. So this was something that was just sort of bound to happen. It was a path that you saw this person was heading down. The Ten of Wands. And I do feel like this person gained some burdens. Whoever this King of Wands represents to you, this is somebody who gained some burdens through a situation. It is part of karma. Okay, and it's not, I gotta tell you, in this case, I don't feel like it's a huge slap in the face from karma. I feel like it's, it's actually the universe trying to offer this person a chance to grow in a lesson. That's what I feel more than anything. I, and I tell you, I, I felt before in the cards where I felt like karma was coming down and it, it was a punishment. It did feel like a punishment. It doesn't feel like it here. That tells me that this person is not evil at heart. They might be acting like an asshat, but they're not evil at heart. This is somebody who has the ability to grow and evolve and become a better form of themselves. Because otherwise... Karma would not create such beautiful situations where this person can grow. Even though it's going to be really hard for them, it's an opportunity for them to start uh, recognizing things and learning lessons. And I just keep feeling like this has to do with their behavior, their choices, perhaps other energies that they're giving to, or the way that they're interacting with people and who they're, how they're choosing their connections. These are Things that they need to learn. Lessons. Life lessons is what I keep seeing in this Ten of Wands. Everything we go through is kind of a life lesson. So instead of 
carrying it around like it's a big heavy burden, looking at it like, okay, what can I learn from this and how can I be a better form of myself? That's the situation that's coming forward for this person. And everything in these cards is telling me and my guides are telling me that this person is actually capable of learning this lesson. This person's not a write-off. Whoever they are to you, they're not a write-off. This is somebody who's capable of learning. And I'll tell you if I feel any different in the cards. I always tell you what I feel about other energies. The Page of Wands. Mm, can you give me more clarity on the Page of Wands? Because I don't get a nice feeling off the Page of Wands in this read. This big batch wanted to come out. Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you will be tested if you haven't already with this person coming back. They need to learn a lesson here. And I do feel like this is someone who needs to pull themselves out of whatever situation that they're in. So I, they might be coming back to you for help once this situation hits, sort of looking for money or hoping to manipulate into giving them money. This is a, something they need to deal with on their own though. I keep getting that in the cards. If this person is going to grow and learn this lesson that the universe is bringing to them, it's a situation that they need to figure out by themselves. Because I feel like they're looking for collaboration, for help, like desperate looking for help. But these other cards tell me that it's not, um, I've learned my lesson, I've changed my ways, help. They don't like their karma and they're desperate for saving. They're desperate for saving. So they're going back to the person who's always been the solid, who's always been the constant. But it's important for them to do this by themselves. Everything I see in the card says they need to find a way. And this does tie into money somehow for this person. This person has to find a way to deal with this on their own. It's part of their growing. It is part of their growing. It's part of their transformation. This tower needs to happen in their life so that they can evolve. And I keep feeling like it has to do with partnerships too. And like they are, they're hanging out with the wrong people or they're connecting with the wrong people. I don't know if this is like at the workplace or their friends or they have a romantic partner, but they're definitely hooking up with the wrong people who sort of live in this, in this taker kind of attitude as well. So they might've had something to give to these people. And so these people were obviously going to be like their best friends and hanging around and whatever, as long as they have something to give. But when life comes down or situation comes down and karma comes about and this person gets left in a bad spot, they see that these were not true connections and these are not people who are willing to reciprocate. It's a tower, like I said, this is a tower that they need to have so they can recognize who a true connection is. Five of Wands. Hmm. I gotta tell you, there's, I, I do feel like there's still, this person still has a lot of growing to do. Even with this accelerated motion, uh, with things changing, with this sort of, this coming back. And I do feel like that's good news. This tower is good news. This tower is the potential for change. It's like the turning point for this person. But it, uh, and see, and that makes a lot of sense. It's very important for you to stick to your guns with this person. To be able to keep a new dynamic going and to set that solid foundation for a new dynamic. Because if they come back to you crying, they come back to you in desperation and you kind of give in at that point before they've learned their lesson, we are going to go back to the same dynamic. So it is important for this person to struggle. It's important for this person to find their own way. It's important for this person to fix their own karma and to pay, kind of pay their karma up and to learn how to change it. And it doesn't mean you never talk to them. Maybe you're willing to give some advice, but you need to maintain whatever boundaries that you've set in place to keep that solid foundation. I keep seeing that throughout this entire situation and what's going on, if you can stick to your guns, there is a very high potential of this being able to mend of this person being able to start doing their learning and their maturing and coming to you in a different way. The Chariot, Eight of Pentacles. It is a lesson they need to learn. Um, they get a different vibe off of the Chariot. I feel 
it's kind of like a young and immature energy and it's like trying to flee from their problems trying to hide from their problems um, hoping somebody else will take it on and I do feel like that's part of their desperation and coming back to to you because the star card does represent you your energy and like I saw it coming I tried to warn you this is no surprise and it's like trying to bring it to you so that you can carry their burdens this person has to do it on their own they have to do it on their own the queen of wands and the hierophant and this queen of wands i gotta tell you this is not you this is not their energy either this is another energy this is part of the people who they've been dealing with it might be just one person or it might be multiple people but this queen of wands is the energy of the people that they've been dealing with and normally she's oh she's pretty awesome she's uh somebody who has a lot of self-confidence or leadership skills but the energy that i feel in this card for this read is somebody who is selfish and somebody who is manipulative um and it is who this person is dealing with and they don't realize that they've been manipulated and that they are really just a resource for whoever this person is and when that resource runs dry this person will move on to somebody else because again you're like this hierophant i feel you in the hierophant i feel the same energy as i had in the star card i told you i tried to warn you i saw it coming i told you i tried to impart my wisdom on you and help to guide you on your way but you were not willing to hear it instead you wanted to go around with this queen of wands whoever this energy is and like i said it might be multiple people it might be like a group of friends or something but it's like that was the energy that you chose that was what you chose to follow and this was a lesson that you needed to learn throughout having something harsh happen to you and this tower come down you needed to learn the lesson between a queen of wands and the hierophant right this person had to learn and they still have to learn this is part of the lesson that karma is bringing about to tell the difference between energies energies who only take advantage and the energies who are worth respecting and worth nurturing in their lives and that is you because you're a solid and you're a constant you're the energy who's worth nurturing it's worth having those kinds of connections and people who are willing to tell you no and people who have boundaries it's worth having respectful relationships instead of people who are users or low vibrational because they've been hanging out with low vibrational people that's who that queen of wands is that is a low vibrational person who they've been taken up with another uh, hermit card yeah this is their card too this is your king of wands card that belongs to him this is something he needs to go through he needs to go through hermit mode he needs to have this tower happen and he has to rebuild on his own this person needs to experience rebuilding on their own absolutely they have to experience struggle for themselves they have to be able to fight their own battles like the knight of swords instead of expecting other people to fight it for them it's all part of growing up the queen of cups and i feel your energy in the queen of cups and you can see her kind of just sitting back and she's just sipping from the cup but even in it's the same it's the same as the hierophant the star even in that there's like the sense of knowing even though she's watching something unfold and i think maybe that's where our awareness card kind of came in too it was like this knowing it's like this deep knowing you already knew this was coming you already knew that this is how this was going to play out just sit back and watch it don't change what you've done the cards say whoever the king of wands is to you this is somebody who's not a write-off this is somebody who is capable of learning this lesson is capable of evolving and is capable of making amends at some point if they can learn this lesson and i keep feeling like there is this uh maybe that's where our waiting game comes into play to our big hourglass there because i keep feeling like waiting like this page of cups i even feel it in the queens like sitting back and waiting but still being open still being open still open to having you come forward in my life but these are my boundaries and these are my rules there's nothing wrong with keeping those yeah you are coming into your empress power you absolutely are that's part of what this transformation has been for you this has been your empress journey this realization this disruption of 
of these unhealthy dynamics with people, this recognizing your self-worth and standing up for yourself. And it doesn't mean that you maybe absolutely sever these ties or sever them forever, but it means you're setting up your boundaries. And if people aren't willing to respect those boundaries, they're not welcome within your circle. If something changes in the future and they do choose to step up and respect those boundaries, and this is somebody who you would enjoy having in your life or would like to have in your life, if they show you that they can respect your boundaries, I see in this Empress card that she's open to entertaining that. But it still has to be on her terms. The Queen of Swords, yeah, you're not taking shit. You're not afraid to speak your word. Keep that Queen of Swords energy going. Keep the Queen of Cups. Keep the Empress energy. This, this Hierophant and this Emperor, stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to keep with the path that you've chosen. And looking after yourself. Well, four of Wands, again, is a solid foundation. It also speaks of celebration, too. You are setting a solid foundation for this to be a functional relationship and to be harmonious. But it's up to you to set the tone because this person's really weak at this point and they would still like to have the old dynamic. You need to hold your ground so that this person is forced to do their bit of changing too and that they're willing to compromise and that they're willing to respect you. Nine of Cups again is wish fulfillment. We already had that in the other cards on the Ten of Pentacles. It is legacy. I can sometimes represent family too. But I see legacy like something that carries on throughout the years. And it is in dynamics with people around you in the workplace and with your family, with your lovers, with your friends, with people around you. It changes. It changes all the dynamics and it sets the tone for the rest of your life and the rest of your relationships with people. So it's important to stick with what you're doing to be able to have the results that you want, to be able to have the inner peace, to have the harmony, to have the respect. And to have balance in relationships so that you don't keep feeling like you catch the short end of the stick. Like I said, whoever this specific person is that you're dealing with, this person has the potential to do some changing. Life is about to bring a situation around for this person. Bring them a tower to try to teach them a lesson. It's important for you to stick to your guns on these boundaries that you've created for yourself. So that this person continues on and, le and learns their lesson. They need to do this themselves. They need to learn their lessons themselves so that they can really grow mentally and emotionally and recognize where it is you're actually coming from. Because if they can go into hermit mode and they can really do that learning for themselves and that maturing and that growing, that will give them the aha moment and it will give them the appreciation for the connection that they did have with you, for everything that you did give them in the past. And they're going to understand why you've set the boundaries that you've set. And they actually are going to respect it. But they need to go through this. They have to go through the growing first. It's just part of their life journey. Like I said, I don't feel anything in the cards that tells me that this person is like rotten or evil at their core. This is just somebody who has to do some maturing, some growing, and some learning like the rest of us. So it's important for you to stick to your guns and keep on your journey so that they can take their journey. Because the cards say it brings success. The cards say there, that there's victory at the end of this. But a lot of that choose wisely, right? Choose wisely what you're about to do when this person comes back your way. Choose wisely. Stick to your guns. Stay in your beautiful empress path. To allow this person to start to grow and ascend and take their own path. Alrighty guys, that's your read.